The CBA is much farther than just one letter away from the NBA. These days, you can find Jay Edwards averaging 14 points a game for the Continental Basketball Association's Rockford Lightning. It's not what everyone expected for Marion High's former Mr. Basketball. At IU, Edwards went from top dog to Bob Knight's doghouse. His five-game suspension for bad grades in the middle of his freshman season was just the beginning. I didn't want to listen, maybe. I had, I had a lot of things come to me real easy in high school, being so successful. Things didn't come easily for Jay after that. More problems with grades and discipline cost him his scholarship. He worked a construction job that summer to pay for school. Then came the fall. Jay failed a drug test. What were the 10 days you spent in drug rehab like? Well, it, was, it slapped me in my face, you know, but I really, thinking back on it, <clears throat> I got my, you know, my thing together now, but maybe I should have stayed in there longer in the 10 days that I did. I was, you know, young, I was just ready to get back there and play, and uh, I really didn't get the full grasp of what I needed to get. A trouble-free sophomore season saw Jay regain his scholarship and become Big Ten Player of the Year. He decided to turn pro, figuring his stock would never be higher. He was right. Two years and just four NBA games later, Jay Edwards was in the minors. I was young, I was 19 years old going to LA and um, I thought I was ready, but I wasn't ready mentally or physically in it for the NBA. I mean, I got there and uh, I was ready even to play and I think that's what uh, really got me mentally, that I wasn't you know, able to do the same thing that I was doing at NBM. Jay hoped that turning pro would lead to a long and lucrative NBA career, bright lights in big cities like LA and New York. Instead, it's been small towns like Rochester, Fort Wayne, and Rockford where he's shrined. Six years later, does he have any regrets at all? Being getting a little older now and looking back at it, you know, uh, of course, you know, I would try to stay, you know, maybe four more or possibly both years. One thing I regret is not winning the national. I think we could have won a national championship if I'd stay. Leaving early, you know, it hurt me, and I can see that now. Hindsight is 2020 for number 20, but in part two next Friday, Jay Edwards looks ahead to a future that's looking bright again. In Rockford, Illinois, Ken Tomash, Six Sports.